back to the Car P show. Appreciate y'all checking back in again. Um, got some news coming out of Electric. Uh, artist rendering from Lynn Bingley. Uh, he does a lot of uh, auto renderings. He's a huge Tesla fan. Made a rendering. Um, basically, he took the current generation Maz Miata and just put Tesla cues on and like taillights, Model, Model 3 taillights, headlights, uh, wheels, and things like that. But his idea was on the higher end supercar market, Tesla's making a $200,000, you know, 0 to 60, two seconds, gonna be like the fastest accelerating car, point blank period and all of this. But he was saying there's a there's a part of the market where he's kind of missing out the mark on, and it was the lightweight roadster. He was saying that someone should make a lightweight roadster, a real small battery pack between the wheels, um, you know, centralize the mass, low center of gravity, um, like a small battery, you're saying something like a 50 kilowatt battery because the car is light, it might get a good 200 mile range out of it, you know, efficiency rates, things like that. Keep it light, simple, uh, keep a lot of the technology stuff out of the car. Um, basically, bridge the gap between the gas powered uh, roadsters and electric roadsters and try to get it at the price point of about, try to get it at the price point of about 50,000. You know, most of the cost is going to be the batteries, of course. And the rendering looks really good. I um, dropped a link for you guys to look at it. Um, but that's a pretty interesting concept. I know the, the lightweight roadster market um, has shrank considerably throughout the years. But I feel that maybe if they do bring an all EV um, to the market, um, that it could take off. Most definitely it's something Tesla should look into and consider in building. Because it will fill a nice spot of the market. Because you know, not everyone has two hundred thousand dollars to spend on a supercar beating. You know, zero sixty two second, thousand horsepower car. A lot of people want the experience of a sports car, but they like more the feel, the lightweight, um, and the affordability. You know, um, that's the major thing. But if you can bring this car around fifty thousand, um, I think it would be a really, really competitive against what's going on right now. Of course, the Miata crowd, it wouldn't really appeal to them. Some because of the price. It's almost twice the price of a, of a base mount uh, Maz Miata. But I see it going into you know the Nissan 370Z convertible. Um, it's probably be discontinued by the time um, this car comes out. But um, the BMW Z4 just came out. Um, Audi TT, well, that's actually probably going to be discontinued by the time this comes out. But I think it'll be interesting to see something like that in the market because you know everyone talks about EVs, you know, they go to SUVs and trucks, we're talking about sedans. But who's talking about the fun to drive, the weekend cars, the, the electric cars that you buy for passion for soul just because you like the car? Um, we focus so much on EVs about you know technology and replacing our primary mode of transportation and stuff. But what about the people who just want to have fun, just want to go back? Drive the top on the weekend, you know, early Sunday morning drive, go off work, and just relieve some stress. And, you know, in the future, you know, if gas powered cars uh, being banned um, in the near future and not being sold anymore, something like that, there's a market people would want something like that. Would appear, I mean, I for one would. I mean, I know it's only a matter of time before all my gas powered cars won't be able to be driven on the road anymore. And I would still want something fun, lightweight. You know, something I could ride around the weekend, go out and um, even go to the track, you know, you never know. Uh, so tell me what you guys think about that. I'm going to go ahead and drop the rendering for you. Um, it looks really good. Um, the artist is really good at what he does. And it really caught my attention because that is something that we don't really talk too much about in the EV world. We're always talking about replacing our primary modes of transportation. We rarely talk about, you know, what's going to happen to the sports cars and what's going to happen to the motorcycles, you know. Yeah, sure, an EV um, is on the works for everything else, but what about the enthusiasts, you know? So tell me what you guys think below, fellow enthusiasts, things of that nature. Um, you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's too soon to bring something like that to the market? Because, you know, there's still so many gas-powered cars prevalent. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys checking in. Um, you guys show me a lot of support, commenting on my videos and things. Give me constructive criticism, so I appreciate that. And I'll have some more news for you guys tomorrow when it comes in. Enjoy the rest of your day and evening. Okay?